Hello beautiful people, my name is Sharice from Collective Light and today I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to do the crow pose. Now crow pose is probably the first arm balance that you will see in a yoga class. Um, it's kind of like the foundation for other arm balances because it really gives you strength in your wrists, strength in your arms, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So let's get started. Pretty much. So you can go ahead and come to a seat. If you would like to use a block, it's really helpful. Or if you don't have a block available to you, you can use a book. Now you can really take the form of crow and start on your little perch. If that feels good for you. Your hands are going to become your base. So pretty much your hands are your feet and this is how you are going to balance. So if you have issues with your wrists, I would suggest getting started with some wrist exercises to get your body used to getting into the pose. So bring your fingertips as wide as possible, plant them firmly on the ground. You can start out in a tabletop position and kind of shift your weight forward and back, finding stability in your wrists. When you do so, make sure that your wrists are directly beneath your shoulders. Find a micro bend in your elbows if you need to. And just shift back and forth a little bit, trying to get used to that. Now, if you have hips that are a little bit tight or tense, you can also do a few hip opener poses before getting into the pose. Uh, I would suggest yogi squat, pigeon pose, any of those to get yourself a little bit more um, flexible. So pretty much, I'll show you how to get into the pose. I'll cue myself into the pose and you can follow along or you can watch first and then follow along with me, I will do it for you. So go ahead and plant your palms on the ground. Make sure they're out like webs. <laughs> Or they're out like they're webbed, you know, like webbed feet, like a duck. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. And then put your hands firmly on the ground. Make sure it's evenly placed. And you can either start in like a downward dog position, bend your knees, find a squat, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Or again, find a book or a block to stand to have your hips a little bit higher because you'll be lifting your hips up towards the ceiling when you're in the pose. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like first. So pretty much I bring my knees to above my elbows. I keep my arms locked in towards my shoulders. I shift my weight forward and then I lift my feet off the ground. This is Crow. You can hold it as long as you'd like. Just remember to breathe. So pretty much cueing yourself into the pose. Bring your base onto the ground. Make sure that your knees are firmly against your triceps, biceps. Somebody help me. And then um, go ahead and find your stability here. If you want to practice just having your feet off the ground at all. You can start by just lifting one toe, one toe, one foot, dropping it back down. Then lifting your other foot, dropping it back down. And then when you feel brave, go ahead and lift both of your feet. Oh, and another tip that's really good before you get into the pose is make sure that you have a sort of triangle going on with your hands and your gaze. So when you are getting into the pose, you wanna look a little bit further out in front of you because if you look right below or too far up, you'll just topple right over, which is fine. You know, it's okay, you can just get back up, but it really helps if you keep your gaze forward, shift your weight towards where your gaze is at and just kind of float into your crow. 
Make sure your elbows are not sprawling out to the sides. And when you're done practicing, you can go ahead and find a child's pose to regain your breath, release any thoughts, any feelings that you have about this pose. Just breathe. And that's pretty much how you do a crow. Now remember that this is a practice. If you don't get it the first time, that's totally fine. You just want to keep practicing until you get off the ground. And trust and believe the more that you do it, one day you'll get off that ground and you'll be like, yes. If you happen to already be off the ground, I, I suggest that you continue growing in your practice by flying your crow or moving on to another arm balance in your practice. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and look forward to other yoga videos coming up soon. I appreciate you all and I hope you're having a wonderful day.